Let's see how to use the booking form in uh, Room Manager, which is the uh, central form to make any meeting requests with uh, all the categories like equipment, cars, catering, and so on. So when the user access the site, uh, the Room Manager site, the first thing he will notify is that he is logged in with his account and um, appropriate to his account the current SharePoint settings and permission settings for these accounts. Um, uh, takes control, meaning that if this user is a, um, a, a normal user, an end user, can make a meeting request on the room manager side. So normally the default SharePoint permissions that he will get from the administrator is the uh, contributor permissions. So uh, when he's on the on the SharePoint side to, to use the booking form, it's uh, very straightforward. Either you use it directly from the, the month view or you change to the week view or you change to the day view. And uh, when you hover with the mouse over the over the calendar, the, the SharePoint calendar, which is customized, uh, you will see that there's an add button, an add link, and clicking on the add link will automatically uh, launch the the booking form. The booking form as well can be uh, launched by double clicking. So when we go to Tuesday, April the 22nd, we see there's just one entry, one meeting, and uh, Hoovering over the over the calendar and the time slot you want to use for the meeting request, you can just double click as well into the calendar, and you will see that the booking form opens with the uh, again with the booking form. So there are two ways to use this uh, very handsome uh, feature uh, by clicking add or by double clicking the free time slot that you want to use. You see that the one one thing is that the time the time is automatically selected depending on the on the double click you made or the add link that you have used so 3 p.m in the afternoon is automatically selected all you have to do now as a user is just to enter the subject select the site by selecting the site automatically the locations which are associated to the site this is something that your administrator or the room manager has prepared in the site content settings, you see that London has uh, two locations associated, Canary Wharf and Kensington. So as soon as you select the location, and this is important point, all the available rooms, all the available cars, if any, all available equipments, if any, has been pre-configured, catering, workspaces and parking fields for this site, London, for this location, Kensington, for this given date and for this given time are available. So this means that double booking is not possible as the engine, the room manager engine, renders in the background by the filters at the uh, the filters that you set uh, all the available uh, all the available spaces. When I change from London uh, from Kensington, let's say to Canary Wharf, you will see that other rooms becomes available, and everything which is available. Uh, is shown up uh, in this uh, booking form. As well, uh, all the events and uh, repeating events are possible in the booking form. So you just use it the same way that you use it uh, when you would make an Outlook meeting request through Outlook. Uh, London Canary Wharf, uh, April 22nd for 3 p.m. to uh, 6 p.m. and 30 uh, are listed so very easily the room can be selected and uh, extra information can be added and the event can be booked. Event saved successfully and when I confirm you see that the event is entered with all the details uh, to the uh, to the uh, to the site as well the workflows and the invitation emails are sent automatically to the correspondent people. All the details are available and all the details can be changed afterwards, after the meeting has been booked, directly by going to the details view, edit the item and by changing uh, the time uh, for the event or changing any other category or property that has been set uh, with, the, uh, with the event. So in this demonstration you have seen uh, how to use the booking form in Room Manager.